without any further ado, I'd like to call this House to order. The chair now recognizes the Prime Minister to speak for no more than seven minutes in favor of the motion. So today our motion is this house believes that cities with historically significant buildings and districts should prioritize new development rather than preserving that, uh, those buildings and districts. So the debate is about what is more important to keep those uh, buildings and districts or should we like develop, develop, develop uh, a lot of other places. Uh, so the burden is that we have to prove that developing should be prioritized over preserving those buildings. So we believe that culture is really important. We're not saying it is not. But these days, we have a lot of more important needs, important interests of people. We're not saying we are uh, wiping the whole culture or the whole things that hold culture. But we're just saying about buildings. Um, so there are a lot of other like um, things that hold culture, for example, music. For example, traditional um, clothes. Um, but it's, we're talking about just a part of that culture, which could be turned into something better, something benefits the uh, people around us. So let's start with the definitions. Uh, first of all, development is building or like putting usable and practical facilities and certain significant is the places that hold culture and historical uh, like value for people. So we have two main arguments that we want to say and we want to begin with the first argument which is we should evolve with evolving culture and needs of people. So let's start with that it solves a lot of problems. We have places that actually found in the center of city. For example, let's say a city in Palestine, it's called Geneva. It had a, like an old, a really old cinema in the center of the, 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 the city. So basically, nobody went in because they have no interest in the movies in that city. Okay, but it was a historical place. So it was really close to um, the bus station. It was close to the center of the whole. It was in the center of the whole city. So they built they built a big uh, building which had like a um, clothes store which had uh, clinics for the doctors. So exactly, so it solved a lot of problems that we have. Uh, for example, it's the place that those historical significant place hold are really important for other things. No, thank you. Okay, so. Um, so it ha the second uh, argument is the encouragement of tourism. A lot of people will say that we have a lot of historical places that have a real meaning and they attract tourism. So let's take Dubai for example. Um, Dubai had uh, almost they do not have historical places that represent their culture. Okay, so they built a new places to represent a culture with the needs of people that suitable for the needs of. For example, the Burj Khalifa, uh, which has a lot of facilities that help people, not just a historical place or something. It is a new place which, uh, which attracts a lot of people. A lot of people come from India, from America, from the whole part of the world, just to see those places that were newly built. 
going to summarize what are our points. Uh, so basically, we're not attacking culture. We're not saying culture is not important. We're just saying that there are some stuff that are, should be characterized because they, uh, we have a lot of culture and things like music. We have traditional uh, clothes. We also have even like a um, picture of those places which can be remembered, which we see in historical past. And okay, so basically, uh, we are not saying it's not important, but saying we are saying that there are a lot of things that should be prioritized to help and benefit people. So we have two arguments, which is we should evolve with evolving uh, the culture uh, the culture and needs of people. And the second argument was to encourage tourism, uh, tourism, sorry, by um, and by that the income of the country itself will increase. So thank you. Go for 
they will learn more about these uh, places. For example, Palestine. Palestine has uh, a lot of significant and valuable uh, places to go to. Uh, there's uh, Al-Aqsa Mosque. Uh, a lot of people come. Uh, a lot of people come from all over the world to see, uh, for example, Jerusalem. What is Jerusalem? What does Jerusalem have? It has. It's uh, an ancient uh, uh, place that people would love to go and visit and walk through uh, the streets and walk through the old city just to look how people live there, just to see uh, what kind of things that this place represents and this place has for the old things that are uh, put in the places, in the mosque, uh, and not only at Aqsa Mosque, there's uh, the Nativity Church in Bethlehem. People, a lot of people go to Bethlehem just to visit uh, this uh, church and to uh, see, uh, no, 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 thank you, just to see and uh, uh, visit these places uh, for uh, its uh, historical reasons. Um, when yes. you just said for historical reasons, but uh, like two minutes ago, you said we were talking about it's for religious reasons. That's why I mentioned before, religious and history, uh, religion and history are both connected in a way that uh, people would always go back to religion and history. Yes. Okay. So it, uh, it all goes back to how. Uh, each country will, uh, will want to decide whether she wants to develop or not, but at the end, uh, when uh, the buildings and districts are always the same, for uh, it's known for its historical reasons and its uh, valuable uh, uh, reasons, people would want to visit and people would want to uh, uh, see these things as uh, uh, repeating our motion that this house believes that cities and historically significant buildings and districts uh, should not be uh, prioritized, uh, should not uh, be developed and should stay as the, the way they are uh, in order for people to learn and to see and new. And for, or, uh, for them to see. Thank you. 
Again, I am emphasizing that we are prioritizing fulfillment and happiness of citizens. Now, how, how are we going to do that? Uh, my, my, my main argument is that uh, when we prioritize new development, prioritize building schools and building hospitals, we are actually giving opportunities to create more jobs in the country. Uh, so when we ought to compare between, the, uh, from this perspective, whether or whether we should not prioritize new development, uh, buildings that are hospitals and build, uh, schools, uh, we are giving more doctors, we are giving more teachers, more people in the society a chance to actually practice their profession in a, in a way that benefits of the whole society, not only them, but the entire society. We're going to explain the impacts of that. So we have two main impacts. One. Uh, more people can work and provide, first of all, uh, for slight disease. They will be personally fulfilled. They will feel that they are productive, active citizens, much happier in their lives, much happier as a citizen of this country, that they, they are able to give and, and take in return. Uh, they will also be able to put uh, food in their family's places, in their family's plates, and they will also be, they will be able to generally provide for themselves and their families, uh, which will lead to more stable lives generally, and much more content and fulfillment if they didn't have that job. Because, for example, you prioritize uh, preserving an, uh, a historical site instead of focusing on your, the actual happiness of the citizens in your, in your country. So the second impact is, um, Okay, uh, when we do that, when we do more jobs, we are actually providing service. A service. We are having more facilities for people. People can find more places to go to doctors. They can, uh, they can find new schools. They can go to new schools. Uh, all those services that the society needs should be able to be met by uh, having these buildings. Uh, okay, and we believe it is going to lead to a more harmonious society where everyone's needs are fulfilled, are fulfilled and where all these human rights are respected. So, um, okay, I would like to generally uh, summarize what, what is our stance on this issue. And um, we, on our side of the debate, highly believe that if we have, if we ought to compare, if we have to compare, we should prioritize having new development rather than preserving historical states. Because first, like, because we need to prioritize uh, the fulfillment and the, the belongation of citizens in their country, and that is by creating new jobs, by making all their demands are met, by making by making sure that all their needs are met, and um, that that will lead to a much happier society, a much happier place. And uh, we also would like to re-emphasize the matter of tourism because it's important. We believe it's going to bring profit. To, uh, it's going to bring. Uh, it's going to make the, the economy of the country, country flourish more. Uh, go ahead. Uh, how do you prove that uh, developing new uh, new places is that economy and jobs more than preserving old historical sites? Okay, so preserving old historical sites. We have historical sites in Palestine. We have historical sites in Naples, for example. Uh, okay, what do people do with historical sites? They don't. They, it doesn't. It doesn't like. Doesn't have much involvement of citizens in them. They just. They, they're just there basically for tourism, which, uh, as we said, can be accomplished by having other methods. Uh, but, but you don't give more chances to people to work. That's how it helps creating new jobs. Uh, so that's why the building schools, and focusing on schools, focusing on hospitals, uh, helps uh, creating new jobs. And um, okay, this is basically our stance. We believe uh, we probably support this position. Okay. with historical significance and buildings and, uh, and districts should not prioritize new development uh, and we should leave these buildings as it is. Uh, first of all, I want to refute what the Prime Minister started. Um, you, uh, you, mentioned, you mentioned that uh, about uh, the Dubai. Actually, about Dubai. Actually, Dubai is not uh, an old uh, country. Uh, it's, uh, it was a desert where where a group of Bedouin people uh, were living, and then uh, people came and built after they uh, after they uh, 
discovered the coal and petrol, they turned it to a country and uh, st started to build, uh, to build a new building in, uh, by the mosques and, uh, and, uh, and other and whatever. Uh, so uh, it's not a historical place. Um, so, no, thank you. Uh, uh, also, your partner mentioned about priority that we can replace the, uh, the historical building by, by uh, build uh, schools, hospitals, and whatever. Uh, 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 we can just leave these places as it is and build uh, something else uh, to, have, uh, to have fun and enjoy. We can build schools, hospitals, and whatever in some things pla in uh, another places. Like why why the, why don't we just leave those places as it, as it is? And uh, when we leave when we leave the, those buildings, this would develop the economy. Uh, I want to, to come back to your point that uh, if we if we have another new building, this would uh, would uh, prove uh, jobs and uh, opportunities for for the people. Uh, actually, when we leave the uh, historical building, this this will develop the economy in a way when we, uh, we will be able to develop the country and provide jobs and, priori and priorities for the people. So in a way, both building is a tool and, um, and a way to, to, um, uh, to provide jobs for the people. No, thank you. Um, so if we get if we if we if we get rid of the building and replace it with a with a new building, this this would eliminate eliminate the culture of this country. Uh, and uh, let me let me talk about uh, the religious. No, thank you. Uh, uh, the historical religious places and like uh, we have. In Palestine, a lot of uh, Islamic uh, historical places, Judaism historical places, 